Okay, let's address two common issues, that being the no sample to present error, and also a leak issue on the inside of the cabinet. Those are both addressed using the diagnostics menu. The first issue is when you have a sample tube locked in place, it's obviously there, but on the screen you get a no sample tube present error. This is because the sensor inside the cabinet is not quite in the right spot. Let's see how to do that. First of all, we're going to go to our main menu. We are going to go down to Diagnostics. And we're going to go to Test Sensors. From Test Sensors, the third one down is Tube Present Check Switch. Currently, because this instrument is working perfectly fine, it shows closed. The problem occurs when you have put a sample tube on and you have closed the system and this still shows open. There's the problem that we're going to fix. So, to do that, we're going to go inside the cabinet. Okay. Now we're inside the cabinet. First let me show you how to fix the no sample tube present error. It's a very simple thing to fix. You have two screws. They're T20 screws. One is down here and one is right back here. They're very simple and very easy to get to. What That holds the sensor in place. So what you want to do is loosen those and then you're going to move this whole piece up and down until on the tube present check switch turns closed. When it turns closed, then the check switch is operational with your sample tube and you're good and you tighten those two screws. Simple to take care of, simple to fix. So next time you get a tube present, no tube present error, do that and you'll be great. Now while we're inside the instrument, let's take a look at another three places where you may have a leak. You could have a leak on any of these three fittings at the very top of the valve on the aspiration vessel, on the top of the aspiration vessel, and at the bottom of the aspiration vessel. Those are all tightened using your Buki wrench. I very simply tweak those, put the wrench on there, tighten it, put the wrench on the middle one, tighten it, and put the wrench on the bottom one, and just give it a tweak. That way the system is leak tight and you will not be losing any ammonia. So that's how we can use the diagnostics to work inside the cabinet to fix errors.